What's up guys, Triple C here. Um, today I will show you the top five mistakes people make when it comes to checkpoint placement. Now I will try to keep this video as short as possible. I will show you examples of what people do wrong in specific situations and show you the right way to do it. So stick around for the whole video because having good or bad checkpoint placement, it makes or breaks a race. If you have bad checkpoints, people are not gonna replay your race. They leave your race with a negative attitude or a negative subconscious impression of the race and will get not get replayed and it's incredibly important and a lot of people are apparently not so aware of this and there's some very common mistakes I'll run you through them the top five mistakes people make when it comes to checkpoint placement let's go all right so here very common problem too many checkpoints and I see this over and over especially with unexperienced creators basically what you got to keep in mind every checkpoint is a distraction to the track you're racing on and people will miss turns as a result of that they just get overwhelmed by your checkpoints it's just bam 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 in the end what happens is that people miss a turn in the end so if we just follow this route here like it's very common what you see here all of a sudden you got a right turn so all these checkpoints here they will be facing in the direction of the next checkpoint also if i pick this up here for example you know and i turn it this doesn't mean the checkpoint will point to the right this only means the cards respawn in this direction if you have to respawn in a race this checkpoint even though it's facing to the right here it will still point forwards in the race to the next checkpoint a checkpoint always points to the next one so what happens it's straight 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 all of a sudden it's right people will not see this when they're racing i'll show you a quick example of what exactly i'm talking about and also um, another very important point actually i don't want to race this line that you're dictating here on me you know like i don't want to race in the middle of the street i actually i want to go over the curbs i want to go curb boosting i want to take shortcuts i want to set up my line and everything but because of this checkpoint placement i'm confined to the street and bam that one's facing to the right but you saw and i just missed the turn here and there it was in the corner so yeah um basically that's the wrong way to do it with a track like this all these checkpoints that you just saw here and we'll just do this live now um, basically they can all go except for the one in front of the turn i'll speed this part up here okay so now we basically we deleted almost every checkpoint every checkpoint is not necessary okay so now as you see i'm also taking a completely different line you know i'm taking the curbs getting some small curb boosts here this actually does increase your speed a bit because your suspension um, compresses and that gives you a small revolution boost you know a rev boost um, here i'm going over the curb setting myself up for the outside line to take the optimal line around this one here so yeah that's basically what oh, the only thing you need just have a checkpoint in front of a turn to indicate the turn that's it all right second very common mistake i see this all the time hidden checkpoints that they're not in the line of sight but that they're in the next street basically and look, you see there it was i didn't see it in time i basically you know this is not an easter egg hunt here i'm always missing my turn when to take the turn because i always have to search for the checkpoint or use my mini map which you shouldn't have to do in a race it's so easy to lay them out correctly i'll quickly show you how to place them in this specific example here so basically you don't want to have it in the street but in front of the turn so it's clearly in the line of sight of the racers have it in the racing line now placing it here i made a point in this direction for the respawn if somebody has to respawn the cards will respawn like they're indicated right here it will point exactly to the right to the next one which i'm also putting in front of the turn now so it's clearly indicated so i know in advance where i will have to turn and I don't have to use my mini map. You shouldn't have to use your mini map on a race. You should be concentrated on the track and the checkpoints just clearly lay out where you have to go. Let's run a quick test. All right, here we go. As you see, this one's clearly indicated pointing to the right. Oops. And this one too also clearly pointing to the right. This one, I have enough time to set up my line, know where I'm going. 
And yeah, that's the second very common mistake. Let's jump to the third one. Okay, third very common mistake I see. I showed to you guys on two specific parts of the map where people get it wrong again and again. Um, there are certain instances where you do need additional checkpoints to have a point in the direction you really want to have them pointing. Now look at this one. Where am I supposed to go? Left, right? I don't know. You know, it wasn't clearly indicated. So basically I'll show you. I have to go left. I know because I built this and a lot of people do it wrong at this point here. I'll show you guys what's the problem here. Because the checkpoint always faces to the... Wait, where did it put us? Because the checkpoint always faces to the next checkpoint... Okay, quick fast forward there. Because the checkpoint always faces to the next checkpoint, here you can actually see where I want people to go. I got checkpoint number one here, checkpoint number two over there. People are obviously supposed to drive down that road in Mirror Park here. But what's happening is because the checkpoint points to the next one, you can even see it indicated by this blue line between the checkpoints. As you saw in our test there, it was not clear if we have to go to the right or to the left. It's just not clearly indicated. And a lot of people try to solve that with dynamic props, which they block this off. It also works, definitely, but it's just such an easy solution. And you do just need an additional checkpoint here. And I would just set it, set it here or set it here. You know, people will drive through it anyways. They cannot miss this checkpoint, you know, but if you have it here, that will have the effect that your checkpoint number one here will clearly be pointing to the left. Alright, so let's give it a quick test. As you see, it's pointing clearly to the left now. And the next one, we can't miss it anyways, you know? So, next location. Alright, second classic location where people get this wrong is this part here. So we're coming in at high speed, we're curb boosting, we're curb boosting. Uh, wait, did I miss the check? Where was I supposed to go? And I have to look on the mini-map to the right. So yeah, what happened here, I'll show you guys. And this is also one where I always see people block it off with dynamics, you know? That they... Actually, I wanted people to go right here, to go up this road. And this is, I see this again and again. And this just results because the next checkpoint, checkpoint number one is down here, and checkpoint number two is up here. This is basically almost a straight line between these two checkpoints, you know, so there's no clear indication from this checkpoint to point to the right. Also, again, you know, if I make it, if I turn it like this, it will still point basically straight. This only defines the respawn direction of the car. So what you also have to do in this instance, you have to place an additional checkpoint directly after the turn to ensure that your checkpoint is really going to be facing right. Now we have it set up in a way that this checkpoint will not be like a blurry thing that kind of points straight here, but it will clearly indicate a right turn. You don't need any dynamics here, nothing. Just straight up pointing to the right. Let's quickly demonstrate. Okay, coming up, and as you see here, clearly pointing to the right. There's nothing you can do wrong here. And this one, it, yeah, it was close, and often here people say don't, like I said in the first example, don't place too many checkpoints, but in a situation like that right there, it's just necessary to do it. And also there's no way that this one's gonna distract you or that you're gonna miss it, you know? It's just necessary to have the previous one pointing to the right. Okay, next common problem, checkpoints on uphill slopes or downhill slopes. I put some boosts here to emulate that we're coming in at a higher speed. Like this one is not very visible and in a race it would even, maybe this wasn't the best location, but you will get the idea. Um, you probably have all had exactly this problem that you're driving up an uphill slope and you don't see in time if there is a checkpoint coming up, if it's pointing to the right or to the left. The problem how you solve this, because after this I already have a checkpoint on the straight back there, um, to make it just more obvious and visible for people, pull it up in front here. Pull it up to here, it doesn't matter, you know? It, it will be in the line of sight then, and it's still clearly indicated to the left, as you can see here by the blue line. So let's quickly run the test again. So now we're coming at a high speed, and I mean, remember now I'm in the stock car. Look here, you see it 
very clearly that it's pointing to the left, you know? I have enough time to set myself up. Like in a racing situation, you're gonna be in custom cars, you're gonna have a lot of distractions, a lot of people around you, you know? So that would be the correct way to place them in this instance. And I got another example of exactly this problem here. Okay, an infamous spot here also. This is also quite a downhill slope here. We're doing it the other way around now. It's hard to see from bird's eye view, but if you look here, you see it goes considerably down. People enter this with a lot of speed normally. There's a long straight. You're on custom cars. You're very quick. And most people take a right on this one, have the checkpoint here. Some people, very few take a left turn, but you never know, you know, if you, the creator's got it set up to go right or left, basically. So, uh, w with the slope here, this results in you not seeing the checkpoint in time and seeing it last second when you go over the slope. Let me quickly demonstrate. Okay, and like obviously we're in stocks and not as quick as in the racing situation. And it just appears so late, basically. Sometimes you don't really see it at all in a race until the very last second. And this one is also like a classic example of where I would just pull it up in front. So it's in the line of sight. So it's not hidden on, underneath that hill basically, but place it here. That's just where the road just starts dropping, where we're still at that height where it's visible. And here it just starts sloping down where this will hide the checkpoint. But if you put it up here, it will still clearly point to the right, you know, and people have enough time to set themselves up for the turn then. Let's quickly show it on a test. As you see here, now I'm already warned that it will go to the right. I saw it early, I had enough time to set myself up and react. Okay, next location. And the last very common mistake I see is confusing checkpoints in front of stunts. Because this results, because checkpoints always face in the direction they're supposed to here, this one's facing to the right, we go here. And then we wonder where do we have to go? Ah, wait, ah, the checkpoint's in the air. It told me to go right. How? Oh, ah, I can't get up there. This happens because, like I showed previously, the checkpoint direction it's facing is only dependent on where the next one is. Actually, over here we have a stunt. Players were supposed to go straight, but a player just riding up to this wouldn't know this. It's also here through the area. You can't see very good ahead what's what's coming up ahead of you and because the stunt exit over there is up there in the sky um, this one will be pointing to the right so basically what you do and you want actually players to go straight and go up here and do the stunt and then exit back there um, so what you do basically to out to come around that problem is that you place multiple checkpoints here you do you purposely do that what a lot of people actually do wrong when placing too many checkpoints which results in you missing a turn you use this to your advantage in a situation like this you place two or three checkpoints as close together as you possibly can now what this will result in okay this is the limit where i'm allowed to go this will result in this one will be pointing to this one this checkpoint will be pointing to this one and this one will be pointing to the right but you will not see it in time because this happens so quick it's just bam 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 you won't even register physically like your eyes are not really capable you you can't react as quick you don't see that this one will be pointing to the right i'll quickly demonstrate as you see it's pointing straight before we went right because it was pointing to the right and now that third one I mean it just appeared so quick and in a racing situation that will be even quicker basically so um, there's no way you, you go the wrong way if you do it this way so yeah those were basically the top five mistakes I always see people make uh, I hope you stuck around and watched the whole video um, if you watched the whole video uh, let me know in the comments right hashtag I watched it all and yeah I hope it could help you guys out uh, maybe show it to some people also you know it doesn't have to be in a bad in a bad bad sense or anything you know like uh, uh, constructive criticism is always good you know you're just um, basically the quality improves and your best friends are always the friends that dare to criticize you also you know and give you an honest feedback because what I also see a lot in this game is like people have 
confirmation bias and basically you know like if if it's your friend uh, uh, yeah my friend will it's always good you know they're gonna say oh yeah my friend he always builds good stuff and they never dare to criticize him you know like um, like i said your best friend will also give you an honest feedback and say hey this was shit basically <laughs> but you don't have to say it shit but you could say you could really improve it there massively by doing this or that you know so maybe also if you see like some people doing these checkpoint mistakes you know just point into this tutorial you know and just improve on the overall quality and that way uh, yeah everybody will basically benefit from this whatever i'm out peace